Hi, well, I'm Stephen Nesheba, and I want to share some ideas about uh, this concept of electromagnetic radiation as it relates to um, Einstein uh, resonance. So, um, the uh, starting point for this, as we're thinking about it, is a, is a, is a, is a, a ray of light, let's say, and it's, uh, I have it uh, moving from left to right here, and I've shown the, uh, the electric part of that, of that light um, being in its, in its positive and negative phase. Um, another part of this, if you want to think about it, is uh, that there is a wavelength associated with that light which goes from uh, peak to peak there. And uh, um, do you think about that, uh, how often the peaks pass by a certain point that would have some frequency, and it's all related, that is to say, if that wavelength were smaller, since the uh, light is going at some constant speed of light, that would mean that the peaks would come by you faster and faster, and uh, that's expressed here with this this uh, inverse relationship, really, the, the smaller uh, lambda, the wavelength, the bigger the frequency would have to be, and, uh, and so on. So frequency is kind of an important thing to, to think about here when we're thinking about how the light interacts with, uh, with, with matter. So one example might be something like this. We have a, we have a, 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 a molecule with some delocalized uh, uh, electrons, so those electrons can can move up and then maybe move down and move up and down again. Um, light, uh, in order to interact and deliver energy to those electrons as they're going up and down that uh, delocalized um, molecule, um, needs to be have a frequency of about 10 to the 15th uh, cycles per second um, in order to be in resonance with the natural frequency that uh, electrons typically like to move up and down molecules. So this matching is what's called Einstein resonance. It's basically the, um, the, the contains the idea that light, in order to drive motions of uh, atoms, electrons, or molecules, has to have more or less the same uh, frequency. That is, the, the frequency of the light has to match the frequency of uh, the natural motion. So, when we have Einstein resonance between the light and electronic motion, then, uh, then we can, we can, the light can uh, drive electrons to higher orbitals, and, uh, and ultimately that's, that's generally what we associate with color. There's another uh, way that this could happen, and uh, I've drawn this light now with a, with, a, with a bigger wavelength, so the wavelength is uh, something like that. Um, because the wavelength is longer, according to this, the wavelength is longer, that means the frequency must be slower, and indeed it's about, in this case, 10 to the 14th cycles per second. Um, that can be, that kind of light can be an Einstein resonance with a different type of motion. Um, it's vibrational excitation. How does that work? Well, we've got a kind of a par partial negative charge on, um, on those oxygens and a partial positive charge on that carbon. So when the positive phase of this light is washing over this molecule, it's going to tend to drive the negative parts of the molecule down and the positive parts up, in other words, bend it. And um, now when, when the negative phase of that light washes over it, it's going to have the opposite. And uh, so it's going to tend to, to do this. Um, but you're only going to really get a sustained delivery of energy from, from the light to the molecule if there's Einstein resonance, that is to say, uh, uh, the same kind of frequency of light that's driving it to the natural frequency at which um, molecules like to, to, to vibrate, or in this case, bend, you notice that it's a lot slower than electronic excitation, and that's just because molecules made up of, it's harder to move atoms, and so they're just a lot slower to move than electrons whizzing up and down. Third example would be something like this. It's even a smaller frequency, 10 to thir the 13th uh, cycles per second. Here the idea is something like this. I've got the positive phase of this light um, um, washing over this, um, this, this, this molecule, and since there's positive charges on the, the, the hydrogens and kind of negative on uh, that um, oxygen, this positive phase of the light is going to tend to send that down, it's going to tend to send the hydrogens up, which you can kind of see is now a rotational motion. Um, if it happens that by the time 
that gets around to the other side, um, then uh, and then the negative phase of the light is washing over it. Then that would kind of complete the cycle and start to drive rotations. So uh, we have Einstein resonance between light on the order of frequency of 10 to the 13th second um, when uh, when it's uh, uh, trying to drive rotational excitations uh, in a molecule. So okay.